Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install Tailwind CSS in your Laravel project. So I'll show you from the very beginning. So let's go and create a face Laravel project. So I'm going to create a project over here, let's say. So let's open a command prompt here. Then zoom in, we are going to say here, Laravel, new, let's say our project name will be Laravel underscore project. Then press enter. So it will create a Laravel project for us. So right now I'll just fast forward the video. So here you can see that the project creation is complete. So let's go to our project directory. We say here CD Laravel underscore project. Then press enter. Right now we'll run our project. We say here PSP artisan serve. So let's go to our browser. Let's say this press enter. And this is our freshly created Laravel project. So right now we need to install Tywin CSS in our Laravel project. So let's go and open our project using Visual Studio Code. So let's just say here VS Code, this all. So let's go and open our project and click File, then Open Folder. My project name was uh, Laravel underscore project, this all. Open Folder, this all. So right now let's go and uh, have a command prompt over here. Click this, Terminal, New Terminal. We can just close this. So here we need to write a command in order to install Tywin CSS in our Laravel project. So for it, uh, we'll go to our browser and here you can see, uh, this is the Tywin CSS official page for Laravel. And here you can see some command over here. This is the project creation. And after this, here you can see npm install minus T Tywin CSS port CSS auto prefixer. So we're going to copy this command then let's go to our Visual Studio code and paste this command in the terminal. Then press enter. So it will uh, install required packages for Tywin CSS. So again, I'll just fast forward the video. And here you can see it is done. And if you want to check if it is properly installed or not, then just uh, go to the packages.json over here. If you go over here, packages.json, uh, here you can see auto prefixer, which is this one. Uh, here you can see post CSS, this all, and tie in CSS, this all, and there is also byte. So after this command, we need to run one more command, and which is npx tie in CSS init minus p. So let's go again, paste the command, and press enter. And once you run this command, it will create a uh, tile.config.js file over here. You can see this file. So here uh, in this file, we need to make some changes. So here you can see the content part, that is to third bracket. So here, uh, let me just directly go to the browser. And here you can see tying.config.js. So inside the content, we need to copy and paste this three line. So I'll just copy this, then uh, go to the tying.config.js file. And inside the content, we'll just paste it. Let me just zoom in. So here you can see dot blade dot php. So whatever blade file will have under the resource folder, it will have access to the time CSS. The same goes for JS. And if you have view in your Laravel project, then you also need to add view. If and if you do not have view in your Laravel project, then you can just remove it. But we'll just keep it. That's fine. All the all over here is done. So we can just close this. So after this, let's go back. And if you go down here, you can see in the app.css, we need to add this three line, tie-in base component and utilities. So copy it, go back to our Visual Studio code. Uh, we'll go to our resource, then CSS, and here you can see app.css. Click over here and we'll paste the three line. Then we can just save this, then close it. After it, let's go back. So here you can see npm run dev. We'll just copy it and we'll just paste it here. npm run dev, press enter, and we're done. So right now, we'll go to our resource, then views, then welcome.blade.php. And uh, let me just do this. And let me just remove every code from here. Let's just say over here, simple HTML. And here, inside the body, we'll just say here, h all. And inside this h all, uh, we'll just say, Hello, or let's just say here, hello, or so right now, if we save it, then if we now refresh here, here you can see hello, or but this is just a normal hello, or there is no tie in CSS. If the tie in CSS was added, 
uh, the test would look different. So in order to add the time CSS, here you can see at the end of byte resources CSS slash app dot CSS. So we need to copy this and we need to paste it inside the head section. So once you paste this, uh, we'll have access to the time CSS. So right now, if we set this, then if we now refresh here, the text will look a little bit different. There you can see. So right now, we'll be able to write our time CSS in our Laravel project. So let me just do this. So here in the H on, we'll say here class equal to text minus free Excel save. There you can see the font size changed. After this, we can say here font dash bold. Save it again. There you can see, and we can also say over here, underline, save, and there you can see underline. It means we are able to successfully install Dive CSS in our Laravel project. So this is how we can install Dive CSS in your Laravel project, and I'll also give this link in the description. Just check it out. So I hope this tutorial was useful to you. Thanks again for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate that, and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.